Hi, thank you for watching this video on configuring FTS in a server group environment. When you're configuring FTS, the first thing you need to do is identify the FTS roles for your server group members. Your roles will include searchers and indexers. Your searchers are going to be user-facing servers that will be used to perform searches and display the results. They'll also include integration or backend servers that are performing FTS or global searches. These searcher servers connect to the FTS plugin that resides on the indexer server to perform searches. The indexers are integration or backend servers that have the capacity to store indexes and perform searches. These are not recommended to be user-facing servers. One or more of these indexers can be configured for failover and load balancing. Here's an example of a server group that includes six servers. Three of these servers are user-facing servers and will be FTS searchers. The other three servers are backend servers. Two of these servers have the capacity and are configured to be FTS indexers. The other server will not be an indexer and will simply be an FTS searcher, even though it's a backend server. This example shows the default configuration where all the FTS searchers point to a single server to perform all their searches. An alternative approach would be to have a portion of your FTS searchers point to the first FTS indexer and have the remaining FTS searchers point to the second FTS indexer. And a third option would be to use a load balancer and have all of your FTS searchers point to the indexers through the use of a load balancer. But in this video, we'll concentrate on using the default configuration of having all of your searchers point to the first ranked indexer. Let's look at an example where I have four servers in a server group. The first two servers, Remedy Prod 1 and Remedy Prod 2, are user-facing servers and they will act as FTS searcher servers. The second two servers, Remedy Prod 3 and Remedy Prod 4, are integration servers and those will both be FTS indexer servers and they will be ranked 1 and 2 respectively. So let's start configuring FTS. The first thing I need to do is open up the FTS management console and configure the indexers. While logged into your home page as an administrator, click on the application flyout and choose Remedy Management Console and then the AR System Server Group Console. This will give you the option to choose the FTS management page. And this is where we're going to begin and do most of our configuration. Remember that we want to configure Remedy Prod 3 and Remedy Prod 4 as indexers. So I'll first select Remedy Prod 3, and the information about Remedy Prod 3 will show up, and you'll see that it's currently not enabled. So I'll first enable it, and the Is Indexer box is already checked, which is what I want. The rest of the information here is the default information, but it's all appropriate for what I'm going to do right now. So I'm simply going to apply these changes. Now this is going to make changes in the AR configuration and the AR monitor configuration on this server. So when I'm ready to make these changes take effect, I'm going to have to restart the server. But first, I'll go and do the same thing with Remedy Prod 4. I'll enable FTS, and it's set to be an indexer, and all the information here is correct. I'll click on Apply. And now those two servers are configured to be indexers. The next step I need to do is to set up my searchers. So Remedy Prod 1 and Remedy Prod 2 are going to be my searchers. So I'll click on Remedy Prod 1, I'll enable it, and this will not be an indexer, so I'll uncheck this box. And per the default setting, I'm going to have both of these searcher servers point to the first indexer, which is Remedy Prod 3. So I'll set the indexer server name to Remedy Prod 3. And that's all I need to do. The rest of the parameters I'll leave as defaults, and we'll click Apply. And I'll do the same thing for Remedy Prod 2. I'll enable it, remove the indexer, and have it point to Remedy Prod 3 as the indexer server. Click on Apply. And now I'm done configuring all four servers to be indexers and searchers. Now let's go back and look at the steps again. I finished opening the FTS Management Console and configuring the indexers and the searchers. So the next step is to open the AR System Server Group Operation Ranking Form and rank the indexers. So let's do that now. From the Remedy Management Console, I can simply check the ranking item here, and it opens up the ranking form. And what I want to do is find my two indexers, Remedy Prod 3 and Remedy Prod 4, and rank them. So I'll scroll down the list. 
till I find Remedy Prod 3 with the full text index operation, and I will rank it as number one. And I'll save the change. Next, I want to go to Remedy Prod 4 to the full text index, and I want to rank it as number two. I'll save that. And once I've saved these, I can click on the refresh ranking button so that all the servers in the group know of the ranking change that I just made. The next step is to restart the servers. I need to restart the searchers because the server plugin alias parameter was changed by the configuration that I just made. And in order for that to get read, those servers have to be restarted. And the indexers need to be restarted because by enabling them as indexers, a new FTS plugin will get enabled and that will start up when the AR server starts. Once I've restarted each of my servers and they're fully back up online, I can continue with the next step. The next step is to re-index each of the new indexers. So let's go through that together. To re-index my servers, I can simply come back to the FTS Management Console, choose an indexer, and then click on the re-index button. A few seconds after I click on re-index, the lower pane of the screen will show me the different forms that are being re-indexed and give me a status so I can see how far along each of the index jobs are going. Okay, now I can go back to the list of servers and do the same thing with Remedy Prod 4. I simply click re-index. And a few seconds later, I get the list of all the forms that are being re-indexed. And here I can sit and watch the status and I can determine when all the forms are completely re-indexed. Once the, all the forms have been re-indexed, then this re-index box will highlight again. Right now it's grayed out because it's still in the middle of a re-index. So that's an indication along with just seeing the statuses in the forms below that my re-index is complete. The last step is to follow the best practice guides to tune FTS. For the searcher and indexer servers, I set up the, just the default settings. But in your environment, you're going to want to tune based on best practices or by the specific needs in your environment. The first and most important document to look at is the Full Text Search Best Practice Configuration Guide for 9.1. This document will list all the important configuration settings for searchers and indexers and provide best practice settings for your environment. The next document is the Full Text Search Deployment and Configuration Best Practices White Paper. Now this white paper is a detailed document that will go through each of the best practice configuration, explain them, and help you make a decision on what settings are best for you. And the last document is the Configuring Multiple FTS Indexers for Load Balancing. This document will show you how you might use a load balancer to configure all of your searchers to balance through all of your indexers. That way you can share the horsepower of your indexers across all of your searchers. And this concludes the presentation. Thank you very much.